Today, I effed up by almost unleashing a fat dumper on my crush's bed. Okay, OP. Sounds like a crappy situation. Over the summer last year, I started talking to the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen. I mean, I consider myself to be a pretty good looking guy, but she was out of even my league. Woo! All right, OP, talking yourself up. Okay, self-love. Oh, I see, see it. it. After a few days of talking, we decided to meet up. And even though she lives about two and a half, two and a half hours away from me, that's fucking long distance at that yeah. point. I still wanted to see her. Aww. A big game was talked by both parties prior to meeting as far as our skills and enthusiasm doing the horizontal shuffle. Oh, yeah. And I was wildly attracted to her. So I figured, sure, F it. I'll take the drive and just see what the heck happens. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. While texting her, she says, we can go to a Mexican restaurant by her house. Great. I love Mexican. I enthusiastically reply that I'm game. And eventually, the dark cloud that is reality sets back in. Dun, dun, dun. That dark cloud seeping from all areas. <laughs> I've had borderline catastrophic IBS for a few <laughs> years since leaving the military. And Mexican food never agrees i would imagine <laughs> those beings uh be ruining in my man's genes if that's you know what right. i'm saying that's the magical fruit if that's you catch our <laughs> drift <laughs> whatever i'll cross that bridge when i get there too no but, like that's not a bridge you want to cross no. when game time comes up man i get to her house and she looks even better in real life than the pictures Ooh. Girl looking like a dream. Oh, yeah. That I never want to wake up from. I mean, she's wildly attractive. Mm. We end up going to dinner, and she tells me that I need to try the spicy margarita. And I say, see, sí, senorita. <laughs> Being a normal whiskey drinker, I've never heard of such a thing. But I do know spicy crap will set off the eternally burning inferno that is my stomach. But I don't want to be rude. This girl's so pretty. I Why? just want to please her. I just want to please her and not please my bowels. Come on. Well, God knows the bowels need pleasing. Yeah, they do. Or you're going to be squeezing. Get to pleasing or you're going to get to squeezing. <laughs> it was quite tasty and I ended up having four Why? over the course of our wonderful first date. This girl was smart, funny, wildly attractive. Did I mention attractive? And upon the conclusion of our dinner, she invited me to her house. Hey. Oh, a spicy time getting spicier. One thing led to another and we must have done the deed for at least four hours. Hours, <laughs> bro. What my guy, four hours, dude. Geez, that military training really got you uh pumping and slumping. Seriously, his his bowels failed, but other things are working overtime. Yeah, no, that he's he's like, uh, you know, like one of those drills that drills into the the, the oil. Yeah, yeah, like, he's yeah, like that. exactly. Boom, boom, he's pumping boom, for boom, oil boom. and he just might get what he's asking for. Hey, we were both having an absolute ball and I was super into it. Little did I know, my stomach was acting as a shaker bottle right now, <laughs> oh, and God. all of my my contents were extreme triggers for IBS. This is like the worst thing that could happen. We ended up falling asleep and I wake up before her in a nasty fit of cold sweats. And I just know that I'm going to paint the room brown. Dude, I'm, my fingers are crossed so hard right now. Man, this, this is a Jackson Pollock painting I don't want to see. <laughs> I end up moving around just enough for her to wake up. And like the angel she is, she offers me coffee, which I gladly take. I use her exit as a scouting opportunity <laughs> and find the guest bathroom, which had no toilet paper in it. How? Oh, no. At this time, she comes back upstairs with the coffee and catches me in her guest bathroom which I play off as I'm just washing my face, not trying to unload a freaking biohazard in this room. As we lay in bed, the only thing I can focus on is not liquefying her entire bed into one massive brown slip and slide. Clench those cheeks, my guy. <laughs> Finally, she announces she has to let her dog out, and I recognize this as my opportunity to uh -huh. escape. Aha! Uh -huh. I spring into action and run to the master bedroom and wrap a 20-foot piece of toilet paper around my <laughs> chest like it's a bandolier and sprint to the guest bathroom where I proceed to begin evacuating my bowels before my butt even touches the toilet seat. I mean, I crap so hard, I actually think I moaned a little bit. Like, ugh. <laughs> Bro turned into Elon Musk's rocket. <laughs> just blasting off. I then conducted a speed wipe and planted myself back into the bed before her return, which, dude, if you're taking a crapper like that, you don't do a speed wipe. You check. <laughs> you wipe and check like four times. Be to make thorough. sure. Yeah. This whole ordeal took less than a minute, and the speed and intensity at which I conducted my business can only be compared to young Sylvester Stallone's Rambo. A few days later, I couldn't keep this story to myself anymore, and I ended up telling her. We both had a great laugh and agreed we should leave spicy margarita 
three days out of my diet, and we've been happily together ever since. See, I'm so happy that this turned out well, but my guy was playing with fire way too much. He flew way too close to the way sun. Way too close to the sun, dude. That could have that could have landed badly. Yeah, it could have. Peace. Am I the a-hole for saying that I wouldn't be playing mom with my ex's affair, baby? What, what's an affair, baby? Her, her guy got another girl pregnant. My ex-husband and I were divorced four years ago because he had an affair, baby. <laughs> I love this. Juniper, three-year-old female. <laughs> <laughs> Even the baby's getting the baby's getting redded in. Yeah. With the other woman, but Juniper's mom passed away when she was one years old. Oh, geez. Oh. Aside from my ex-husband and his family, she doesn't have anyone else because her mom grew up in the system. He and I have four kids. Joshua 20 male, Cassidy 16 male, Nate 11 male, and Jacob 8 male. When my husband and I divorced, our two oldest, Joshua and Cassidy, cut him out of their life. So basically, yeah, that makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I don't fault you for it. They don't visit him anymore, and they both have never met Juniper, and he has always blamed me for that, saying that I kept his children away. OP hasn't kept the children away. The affair kept the children away because his children, his older children, are like, I don't want anything to do with that cheating scumbag. No. And that's why they haven't met your affair, baby. It's your own slick willy, buddy. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. Yeah, maybe keep that willy dry for a season. That's Come right. On. Now, he might be an awful husband and partner. Partner, but he is an awesome dad. I'll give him that much. Now, our younger children, Nate and Jacob, still visit him, and they are both close with his baby. I tried once to take the three of them out when the baby was younger, but it wasn't for me. I know she's blameless, but I just can't separate her from my ex's betrayal. So every time I pick up Nate and Jacob, I try not to engage too much. Oh. Dude, the affair baby didn't do anything wrong. I know, I know. If the baby says hi, I say hi back. If she waves, I do it too, but absolutely nothing more. It's a freaking baby. Good God, that's a bit much. That's a Bro, bit much. Bro, yeah, you're, you're kind of feeling a-hole-ish right now. It's a baby. Every time I pick them up, she starts to mumble, Mama, Mama. Oh. I've told her things like, no, Juniper, I'm not your mom. Call me my name, and I'm fine with that. Last time, she actually ran out at me calling me mama and began to cry when I didn't pick her up and take her with me. Oh, this is Dude, heartbreaking. This is awful. This is so bad. I don't think my ex is telling her to call me mom, but that's how Nate and Jacob acts, especially Jacob. He runs towards me saying mom, mom and hugs me. So I guess she's just copying him. Yesterday, my son spent Easter with my ex's family. Juniper ran up to me like that again. I said, hi. <laughs> And my ex asked for a second to talk, to which I said, yes. Bro, I'm just imagining her like being like, hello, nice to see you again, child. <laughs> hello, baby. <laughs> <laughs> my ex told me that seeing me pick up the boys, being affectionate and loving with them is confusing and hurting to Juniper. She's a baby and she doesn't understand what's happening. So he asked me if I could ever take her with me for a few days like I do with the boys and maybe... Over time, let me call her mom. So OP said, absolutely not. I said that I'm sorry for Juniper, but I won't be playing mom for her and that I'm only keeping a relationship with the both of them because of our two sons. He called me heartless and pointed out how she cries when I leave without her, but I said that was not my problem and he should have to deal with that. He later sent a video of Juniper crying by the door and said, I hope you're happy. <laughs> so am I the a-hole? Fuck. Yeah. I, I don't even know, dude. I mean, like, let, 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 I think they're both kind of in the wrong, right? Well, okay. So the husband's in the wrong for cheating. Yep. For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. The OP's in the wrong for treating the baby like a business client. <laughs> Hello, child. If I had a, a kid. Yep. And I was also gay and had a partner. And then that dad, the, one of the dads died, right? Yep. And then the dad had long hair like you lush, luscious locks and you were coming to hang out right and then my kid got like he's like oh my god that looks like dad and started calling you daddy right 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 would you be okay with my kid calling you dad yeah i guess that would be it wouldn't be that bad but i'd be like i mean i'd probably just be like no you know i'm not and still engage with the baby i get your general point so you so you you wouldn't be like i well yeah yeah i guess you wouldn't say i am your father but what if like what if the person's like can you just pretend like you're... <laughs> yeah, that's too much. Or, or, or yeah. like, hey, could you just... Yeah, yeah. He wants to call you dad. So could you just take him for a few days and like let him call you dad eventually? That's like, okay, bro. Uh, yeah, okay. No, when you, put it, when you put it in that context, I think I th that thought experiment, I think frames it where I think the husband's asking way too much. But also, but also I do think that like the woman, I understand 
that she has these like feelings and associations yeah. attached with the baby. But like the baby didn't do anything. The baby didn't do anything. So like I, I totally understand her not wanting to take her for a few days and like all that stuff. Like that's that's too much, right? But I think I think like she could be a little bit warmer. Yeah, Slightly I think she could be warmer, but she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to do absolutely not. Yeah, she's not else. entitled to do or not obligated to do any mom duties. Frick, that's a tough situation. Tough situation. So there you go. Peace.